Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review on a fragrance that was released by Lancome back in 2019 and it is called Idole. There's a lot of reviews out there about this one both online and on Fragrantica and everywhere else and um, I got this little sample at a department store that I visited not too too long ago and you can see there's not much missing out of it. Um, there's a reason for that, but we'll get into that in a minute. So this one, let me read you the main accords on this one. This one's main accords are rose, musky, fruity, white floral, and sweet. And the notes on this one are, let's see, there's all kind of different rose essence, um, rose petals, they're is some bergamot there's some pear there's some india jasmine so there's a lot of floral notes going on in this one a lot of rose um yeah so i got this perfume and didn't spray it right away because i looked at the notes and i am not a huge fan of floral fragrances so i wasn't in a huge hurry to pop this one open and give it a try I will say this though, I tried it about a week and a half ago and this one does have pretty good projection and pretty good staying power, but it is just really not for me. It's very, very floral, like it says, um, but the thing that bothers me about it, and I'll go ahead and give it a spray just so I can remember those opening notes. Hmm. Yeah, the thing that bothers me about this one, when I first spray it, it smells kind of fruity floral in the beginning. Slightly powdery, slightly clean. Um, maybe some sort of laundry detergent kind of clean. It smell, it's, unfortunately, it is not a groundbreaking fragrance. It's, it's something that I've smelled before. It smells very familiar. To me, it actually kind of smells like more Jacob's Daisy. I mean, I do get a lot of Daisy in here. Uh, I do get the rose. I do get the musk. I get a little bit of pear. I do get some bergamot. The problem with this is, is when it dries down, to me, this one smells like, are you guys ready for this? It smells like scented toilet paper to me. And I don't know if they still make scented toilet paper, but back in the 80s and 90s they did. And that's what this reminds me of. So, I will have to give this one a thumbs down. Now, we'll say this too. I was tempted to, when I first saw it and I was at the department store, I was actually picking up an additional bottle of Midnight Rose because I really like that one. That one is by Trezor. So I was naturally at the counter where this one was. And the lady was like, ooh, have you tried the new uh, Idol? And I was like, no, I haven't tried it yet. And I was like, and I don't really care to. <laughs> anyway, she was super sweet and she gave me a sample, told me to give it a try. Um, you know, I'm not repulsed by it. I've smelled worse. I've smelled more mainstream than this. I mean, this one is just kind of there. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of M by Mariah Carey, if you've ever smelled that one. I actually have it out because I was kind of trying to compare the two. And to me, they're very, very, very similar. Um, so, yeah, I just can't get behind it. Um, it's just not one that I want to own. But I will say this, before I actually smell this, I was tempted to pick up the small bottle of this just because of the bottle shape. And unfortunately, online, this one gets a lot of bad reviews just because of the way the bottle is shaped. People are just complaining and they're saying, you know, I'm going to give this one star because this bottle is absolutely ridiculous and I can't believe they would make a bottle that has to lay down. And you know what? That doesn't bother me. I actually have several fragrances that lay down and I'm okay with that as long as, you know, what's on the inside, you know, is what counts. And I'm actually intrigued by different perfume bottles or fragrance bottles or cologne bottles. 
Um, I actually think that they can be little works of art, you know, they're kind of, they're kind of intriguing to kind of look at. Some of them are very, very odd, you know. Um, this one's perfume bottle did intrigue me because it is so flat. I did read on a website that it was said somewhere, somehow, that this one was created for working women who are on the go. They can just throw this fragrance down into a, um, into a briefcase, down into a luggage type of bag, into a handbag, into an evening bag, and it's super, super flat, so it can be, you know, uh, taken and, and traveled very easily. Um, but there's just nothing groundbreaking about this, you guys. If you like this, then, you know, that is completely cool. There's probably fragrances that I like that people are repulsed by. And that's the fun part about fragrance, like I always say. You know, we I have a whole entire collection of fragrances back here. And you guys may only like three of them. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and that's okay. That's what makes this hobby of a fragrance so fun is because we can, you know, find different fragrances we like. We can share our uh, hobby with the world. We can talk about it. We can discover new fragrances. You know, the sky's the limit with this hobby. So, if you have this one and own it and you love it, please let me know in the comment section down below that you love it. If you've tried this and you just absolutely are repulsed by it, please let me know that too. Please let me know if you're planning on picking this up. This would be a, a fantastic spring and summer scent, but I think that there are probably, for you know, I think the smallest bottle is like $50. I think there's probably uh, cheaper routes you could take for a fragrance that smells like this. You know, maybe some celebrity fragrances. Just saying. Anyway, guys. Uh, I wanted to just throw this video out there real quick. I have reviewed this. I have smelled it. And like I said, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. So anyway, guys, until the next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.